Hello, it's Costrello. I locked myself to the barbarian village and I must complete everything in this chunk before I can move on to greener pastures. This is the extreme one chunk barbarian Iron Man. Previously in the last episode, I completed many tasks on the list leaving only a few left until I can roll for a new chunk. To save yourself from spoilers, if you haven't seen episode 2 yet, I suggest you go check it out. But if you don't care about spoilers, here's some of the big hitters that we got in the last episode. I got a Staff of Earth from a beginner clue scroll. I got 80 strength, meaning you can call me the strongest barbarian in the village. And we also carved a Wacker Canoe. Now that I've almost completed everything in this chunk, all that's left to do is get 55 magic and cast high level alchemy, acquire a skull scepter and complete the available diary tasks within this chunk. As stated in the first episode of this series, I want to finish off the chunk by defeating the level 159 zombie that is on the last floor of the stronghold. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm now going to set my sights on killing flesh crawlers on the second floor of the stronghold of security because one, they drop noted iron ore that will be really useful in the future for when I finally get a bank. And two, they also drop dust runes which will be essential for my magic grind. There aren't many mobs that drop air runes in the chunk so I'll be using dust runes with my staff of earth to cast earth strike and eventually crumble undead on ankus. So hopefully I'll have enough runes to reach my end goal of 55 magic. After 1000 flesh crawler kills I've got over 600 dust runes and quite a lot of natures as well. And with this book of knowledge there is 4 hunter. Looks like I'm the local pest control because there's 65 defence. And this is what the loot looks like from over 2000 flesh crawler kills. I've got over 1200 dust runes, nearly 500 nature runes and over 1000 noted iron ore. So yeah this is really good. I'm hoping maybe it's going to take me about 10,000, 12,000 kills till I'm finished here. That's two crystal keys I have now so I could really do with a graveyard random so I can bank all the arrows that I have and these keys. A little further down the road now and there's 65 attack. Here's a mystery box so let's see what I get and it's a hard clue. Obviously I can't do this and I don't think I'll be able to do any hard clues for a very long time. This could be the last defense level of the chunk and there's 70 defense. I want to take a break from the flesh crawlers and get a few magic levels so I've come back to the rat pen where I started in episode 1. And that's level 9 magic so I can now cast earth strike which will be perfect for the grind ahead. Just finishing off a maze random so let's see what I get. And oh some chaos runes that's sick. And that's 70 attack this is getting really easy now with auto retaliate on with these flesh crawlers. Really healthy now at this point there's 75 hit points. Bumped into a tile boy training magic on barbarians and he wanted me to get a clip of him saying hi to YouTube so YouTube say hi. 6666 dust runes. Six, 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 six. Got some beekeeper gloves so I think I'm going to replace the mime gloves because these look much better with my fit. Never thought I'd be getting stats like this during this chunk grind but there's 75 attack. So after killing over 13,000 flesh crawlers I finished with 8,392 dust runes which I think would be the perfect amount for my magic grind. So let's just strip down, get this magic gear on well, I say magic gear, there's no magic bonus on shade robes. <laughs> but I'm just going to go and trade this adamant full helm to Pexa, make some inventory space. If I want one again in the future, I'll just buy one back. Um, the plan is to cast Earth Strike on the barbarians in the Great Hall. So let's get started on that and see where I end up. And in no time at all there's 30 magic so now I can move on to the next task and that's to get a scepter piece from the green cows in the stronghold. So let's go do that. Well the plan is to use this safe spot so that they can't reach me and reduce my stats. It might take a while but it gets the job done. Hopefully the drop rate for the scepter piece doesn't take too long either. After the first kill I get an adamant medhelm which is 1 in 100 drop chance. And there we go, there's the top half of the scepter, which I got surprisingly quick. So I don't have to kill these anymore. I can put the two halves together and make a ruined scepter. Now for the fun part, 
I'm going to kill Ankus from here on out using the safe spot in the south side of the stronghold. They also drop the left half skull of the scepter, which I'll need, but mainly they drop nice items like death runes, blood runes, and noted mithril lore, so the rest of my magic levels are going to be gained here. Boom, and just like that, I've got the left skull half. So all I need to do now is just go kill some minotaurs for the right half, and we've got ourselves a skull scepter. Honestly, I swear I'm trying really hard, but the game's just spooning me. So there's the other half. I need to put these together, and then that makes the skull, which goes on the rune scepter. And there we have it, a skulled scepter. So all I need to do now is just teleport away with it for the diary task. So here I go. All I need to do is press invoke, and it teleports me to the center of the barbarian village. So that's diary task complete. Got a Ranar seed from Ankus, guess I'll hold on to it in case I get a graveyard random to bank soon. Okay, so there's 39 magic. I can now cast Crumble Undead. It's the strongest spell that I can use on Ankus currently, which I'll start using once I finish with my mind runes. It's going to boost my magic levels so much faster. Oh, and by the way, you can't auto cast Crumble Undead, which is pretty lame. There's some weapon poison, so I'll find some use for that in the future. Gandalf the Grey wouldn't have a chance against me. There's 40 magic. Okay, so now I'm just finishing up using my mind runes. I've got two left, so I think about one cast to go. And it's time to start using Crumble Undead. So let's hit up this big damage. Like I say, I can't auto cast, so it has to be one at a time. But the XP is much better, and I can't wait to get through these Chaos runes now. Forget about Dumbledore, I'm the new headmaster of Hogwarts. There's level 50 magic. Hey, finally, there's a black robe on the floor. I'll be using that from now on because it has a plus three magic attack bonus. And that's the last chaos rune. I got as far as 53 magic, which is roughly why I expected I would get to. But don't worry, I've got a solid plan. So let's teleport out of here with the scepter and unlock my utility spells because it's time for Telekinetic Grab. I'm going to use Telegrab on the cooked meats and beers here, and then hop worlds and just carry on doing that until I am 54 magic. That actually took forever, but there is 54 magic. Now it's time to move on to the next part of my master plan. I hate to do this, but I have to low out body runes to 55 magic. It seems like a waste of roughly 500 nature runes, but honestly, it feels worth it after all the work I've put in. Here is 55 magic. There is that song, three is the magic number, but really, we know 55 is the magic number. All I have to do now is cast High Alk on one last body rune. I'm done with all the extreme tasks for this chunk. There's just one last task that I set for myself when I started all this, so let's go finish that now. When I started this chunk, I said I wanted to finish off by defeating the level 159 quote zombie boss on the last floor of the stronghold, and I'm pretty sure I'm more than capable at this point, so let's do this. And one last hit to finish this guy off. There's a 7, so let's see what he drops. Ah, some big bones. Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take those and bury them into the ground. That was the last task for this chunk. Well, I guess it's time to roll for a new chunk, hey? Let's do it. Well, I think it necessary that we come right into the center of the barbarian village. And I guess it's time now to roll for a new chunk. What I'm showing you on screen here is the V2 chunk picker from Source Chunk. This has a list of all the tasks I had to complete under the extreme rule set. And with all these tasks finished, I'm able to roll and see where I end up next. Personally, I think Edgeville would be cool to get since I could take on Obor for some tasty loot. But we will let Iron Jesus decide my fate. Okay, so here we go. It's now rolling for my new chunk. Let's see where I end up. Varrock West. That's interesting. Okay, right, take me there. I'm not sure what I think about this just yet, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a surprise. Um, I think I'm gonna have to explore it 
quite a bit until I know truly how I feel about this. So let's go have a look. This gives me straight up Lord of the Rings vibes right here. You know that scene with Samwise saying to Frodo? If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. So let's take that step into the Varrock West chunk. That feels so good to have accomplished everything that was possible in the Barbarian Village chunk. I'm really happy with it. As you can see on my right, there's Gertrude's house. I'll actually have to start that quest. Obviously, I can't finish it, but it's the start that I need to do, so I'll do that. Um, I'm really happy that I finally have access to a bank. It's insane. So, let's go put all this stuff away. Well, there's all the items I deposited with the graveyard random. So if I just chuck everything else in there, I've got a bank value of 1.8 mil, which is awesome. I guess all that is needed to be done now is to discuss what's next for this barbarian Iron Man. I'm so glad that I've come this far and absolutely hyped to have some new tasks ahead of me. But while I don't want to go into too much detail about this chunk until the next episode, it's probably no secret that this chunk has the cooking guild, which means I'll need to get 99 cooking. This is without a doubt going to be the biggest grind I've taken on with this account, and I'm somewhat looking forward to it. But how I'm going to get 99 cooking will all be revealed in the next episode, along with details for everything else that I'll need to do. I really hope you enjoyed watching this series as much as I've enjoyed playing it. It's great to see you all subscribing to my channel since nothing motivates me more than noticing people enjoying what I'm putting out there. So thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.